Modal Verbs Mastery Unveiling Negative Forms and Questions Hello, English learners. Welcome to another exciting video in our Intermediate Grammar series. Today, we're diving into an intriguing aspect of English grammar. Modal verbs in negative forms and questions. Our focus will be specifically on using these forms for requests and offers. Let's get started. Before we jump into the specifics, let's do a quick recap on modal verbs. Modals are special verbs in English used to express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. They include can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, and ought to. Modal verbs are unique in how they form negatives. Rather than adding a suffix like nt, as we do with regular verbs, don't, isn't, etc., modal verbs are followed by not to form the negative. For instance, we say can not, often contracted to can't, should not, or shouldn't, will not, or won't and so on. When used in requests or offers, these negative forms can soften the language or express polite refusal. For example, request, could you not open the window? It's quite chilly in here. Offer, would you prefer we did not discuss this now? Questions with modal verbs are also quite straightforward. Simply swap the positions of the subject and the modal verb to form a question. For example, the statement, he can swim, becomes, can he swim, when turned into a question. In the context of requests and offers, these questions often sound more polite and respectful. For example, request, could you help me with this package? Offer, would you like some more tea? When we merge the concepts from sections 2 and 3, we can form questions with negative modal verbs. Here, we keep the not after the modal verb. For example, request, could you not tell anyone about this? Offer, would you rather I didn't bring dessert? Remember, the emphasis and tone can significantly change the meaning in these instances, so practice is key. And there you have it. You've learned how to use negative forms and questions with modal verbs for requests and offers in English. Keep practicing these concepts, and soon you'll be navigating English conversations with ease and fluency. We hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, keep learning, and happy studying!